Today, I will be explaining the plot of the 2019 movie 4x4. The movie begins with Chiro, a thug, walking around a neighborhood in Buenos Aires. He breaks into a car that catches his interest and steals its stereo, along with a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses he finds in the overhead compartment. Not satisfied, he forcefully clenches his butt to squeeze out a fart before attempting to leave, but he realizes that he's trapped inside the car. He tries all the doors, but none of them open, so he moves to the back seat to try to open the trunk. When that fails, he panics and tries to break the window, but he can't. He tries to dismantle the door and hurts himself in the process. Chiro ends up shooting at the window, but the bullets ricochet and hit him in the thighs, causing him extreme pain and profuse bleeding. Despite avoiding being seen, he tries to get the attention of a woman outside the car, but she doesn't hear him. Kiro tries to call his wife, but his phone dies. He spends hours inside the car, getting thirsty and desperate. He licks the fog from the window to quench his thirst and listens to the radio with the stolen stereo. A raunchy song that coincidentally describes his situation motivates him to try to open the door again. As he repeatedly hits the car door with a tool, a phone suddenly starts to ring. It is the car's stereo. Chiro answers the call and a man introduces himself as Dr. Enrique Ferrari and welcomes Kiro to his car. Enrique reveals that he is the owner of the SUV and has been robbed 28 times before Kiro, making him the 29th thief who tried to steal from him. This revelation angers Kiro and he demands to be freed, but Enrique tells him to be quiet and listen. Enrique then explains that he calls his car 4x4, which has an alarm connected to his phone that allows him to lock all the doors to the car. The car is bulletproof can't be moved from the inside due to active suspension and is soundproof. The windows, including the front windshield, are all polarized. The gas tank, which can hold 120 liters of fuel, is the only thing that's not bulletproof, and it is full at the moment. Enrique warns Chiro that the full gas tank is a potential bomb, and if he tries something funny, the car could explode, killing him along with it. As Chiro hears all this in disbelief, Enrique goes on to say that he is a widower who was born in Quilmes 60 years ago. He had a normal childhood as a middle-class child, where the doors to his house were never locked. Enrique tells Chiro that the current state of life is so bad that he misses the life he had when he was a child. He asks Chiro what he would do if he caught his son stealing. However, Chiro has had enough and threatens to report Enrique to the police, ordering him to release him so he can kill him and all of his family. Before Kiro could finish, the phone hangs up. Afterwards, Enrique turns on the air conditioner and lowers the temperature to torture the thief, and Chiro's attempts to turn it off are unsuccessful. Left with no choice, Kiro takes off his shirt and uses it to stop the bleeding from his wound, tearing apart his jeans to wrap around it. After torturing Kiro for an hour, Enrique calls him again and asks him what he would do if he caught his son stealing, promising him water if he answers the question correctly. Chiro answers, but Enrique is not satisfied. Despite Chiro's pleas to stop, Enrique tells him about an incident when his daughter's home was robbed. Revealing that he trained her for such situations, Chiro interrupts him and questions him, asking what kind of doctor would deprive a wounded person of water. Enrique commends him and hangs up, asking Chiro to guess the kind of doctor he is. As Chiro brainstorms, a police car arrives and gives the SUV a ticket, ignoring Chiro's attempts to get his attention. Later, Enrique calls again and asks Kiro for his full name, name, and ID number in exchange for water. After Kiro complies, Enrique guides him to the water in the washer hose in the back, and Kiro drinks it eagerly despite its light blue color. Kiro is still hungry and almost forced to eat an insect that has entered the car. Later, he checks his wound and finds it turning yellow, and he also has a fever. Enrique decides to give him a break and turns on the AC to help him cool down, revealing that he is dying of cancer and has only a year to live. As Enrique talks, Chiro passes out after taking off his clothes. Chiro's body has turned yellow as well. Later, in an attempt to find a way to escape, Chiro looks through the car manual but ends up eating one of the pages in a moment of desperation and frustration. He's hit rock bottom and resorts to drinking his own urine from a container to quench his thirst. Just as he loses hope, a burglar tries to break into the SUV, giving him a glimmer of hope, but the thief is caught by passers-by and handed over to the police. As night falls and Kiro battles dehydration and hunger, he becomes philosophical and observes how few people possess so many things that should be shared with everyone. 
He adds that the world is full of poor people living under laws made by the wealthy, for the wealthy. Tiro declares that he will not comply with them, even if they kill him. He confesses that he turned to thievery like his father and grandfather before him. The next day, Enrique calls him once again and shares the news with him, informing him that he is in a good mood and guides him to a hidden chocolate bar behind the brakes. After spending the day resting and observing the neighborhood, Kiro tries to break down one of the doors, managing to strip it down to its metal part from the inside. Finally, he creates a small hole in the door that opens to the outside. He screams through the tiny hole to attract someone's attention, but without success. Later, Enrique calls and discloses that he has contacted Chiro's family. Upon hearing his family's name, Kiro becomes emotional and warns Enrique not to harm them. Tearfully, he asks why Enrique is doing this to him. However, Enrique proceeds and pulls out Chiro's criminal record, revealing that Kiro has previously killed someone. Chiro denies the allegation through tears, but Enrique provides evidence of Chiro's break-in at the Salerno brothers' residence in Baracus, where he shot them. Enrique also mentions a past incident in which Chiro beat up a bus driver. Nonetheless, Kiro still refuses to accept responsibility for his actions and blames the driver for not letting him rob the passengers. He admits to making mistakes and says that he has already paid for them. Later, Kiro charges his phone with solar power and attempts to call his wife. But the call goes straight to voicemail. In the voicemail, he confesses to everything and apologizes for his actions. After crying, he fiddles with the car's start button and manages to turn it on. The car can only be started without a key, and after pressing the button a certain number of times, he puts on his seatbelt and sets the gear in reverse mode. However, the gear becomes stuck in reverse, forcing him to drive backwards. He speeds the car and crashes it into a pole to get someone's attention. Luckily, the airbag deploys on time, and he doesn't sustain any injuries. Finally able to kick down the weakened rear window, he escapes. Despite being in excruciating pain, he drags himself to a nearby gas station eatery where he helps himself to some food. As he savors every bite, the eatery's manager orders him to pay for the food and leave immediately, angering Kiro, who shoots the manager. Chiro then wakes up from his sleep, realizing that he was dreaming and still trapped in the car. Enrique calls again, and Kiro threatens to commit suicide, but Enrique remains unaffected. In desperation, Kiro puts his gun in his mouth and pulls the trigger, but the gun gets stuck. Mocking him, Enrique tells Kiro to look in front of the car and reveals himself getting into the car with him. Kiro is extremely fatigued and lacks the energy to escape. Enrique tends to Chiro's wound and gets distracted in a work call while Kiro seemingly falls asleep. Taking advantage of the situation, Kiro attempts to shoot Enrique but fails and jumps out of the car. Finally out, he fires a shot in the air to attract help. However, Enrique tries again to drag Chiro back to the SUV, but a policewoman intervenes and orders the doctor to drop the gun. Two hours pass with the area surrounded by people, media, and police. But Enrique refuses to release Kiro, claiming that he is the victim of the thief's actions. The police then call retired negotiator Julio Amadio, who asks Enrique what he wants. Enrique lists a range of everyday problems that he faces, which the government does nothing about, such as having to avoid 2,000 dog poops on the street because dog owners don't clean up after their pets when no one is looking. The public empathizes with Enrique and cheers for him. Despite Julio's persistence in talking to Enrique, he refuses to surrender until he gets into his car and places a timer on top of it, which Julio suspects is a bomb and orders everyone to back up. The SUV explodes, killing Enrique but igniting a fire in the hearts of every commoner. That's all from the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to support us. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take